Okay, now on page four of your chapter eight packet, we're going to go over how to simplify. Now, number one, is x squared cubed. So this is a power of a power. And this is the same as saying x squared times x squared times x squared. Or, you just remember it's x squared to the third is x to the two times three. So either way you look at it, this becomes x to the sixth. Now, let's compare that to x squared times x cubed. That, you just add 2 plus 3, and this is x to the fifth. So when it's a power of a power, you multiply. When it's the same base and you're multiplying, you add the exponents. Okay, so number 3 is x squared y to the fifth cubed. This is the power of a product. So the rule says we fake distribute. We raise x squared to the third and y to the fifth to the third. So this becomes x squared to the third, y to the fifth to the third, which is two times three, x to the sixth, y to the fifteenth. Now, normally we would just do this in one step. I just wanted to show you the work. Number four, five x y squared. This is the power of a product. You have to remember to raise each factor to the second power. Many people forget to raise the number to the power because they don't see an exponent there. But this becomes five squared x squared, y squared, which is 25 x squared, y squared. Okay, number five, negative two x squared, y squared to the fourth. Now the first thing I want you to notice here, that whenever there's a negative inside the parentheses, raised to an even power, this automatically becomes a positive number. A negative raised to an even power is positive. A negative raised to an odd power would stay negative. So this becomes 2 to the 4th, x to the 8th, y to the 8th, and that's 16x to the 8th, y to the 8th. And it's positive. Okay, now let's just go back to the example. Had it been negative 2 times x squared y squared to the fourth, or negative 2 to the fourth, this term would stay negative. It's only when the negative's inside the parentheses that it becomes positive. Number six is x cubed to the fourth, and that's x to the twelfth. Power over power, you multiply. Number seven, 2x cubed times negative 5x to the tenth. Now, in this case, this is all multiplication. So I am allowed to rewrite multiplication using the commutative property. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times negative 5 times x cubed times x to the tenth. Now, I did that because I wanted to move the terms I'm going to multiply next to each other. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. When we have the same base, we add the exponents. So this is negative 10 x to the 13th. So numbers multiply numbers, and same base, we add the exponents. Okay. Now number 8, 2 times x squared to the 5th. This becomes 2 times x to the 10th. And I will put number 9 on a different line. So negative 10x squared, negative x squared, negative 2x. <coughs> 
first thing I notice is there's three negatives. Three negatives mean my final answer will be negative. Now this is actually negative one. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 10, negative 1, negative 2, times x squared, x squared, x. So this becomes negative 10 times negative 1 is positive 10 times negative 2 is negative 20, x to the fifth. Don't forget that that's x to the first. Negative 20, x to the fifth. Okay. Now, number 10 is negative x cubed to the fourth. Remember, a negative to an even power is always positive. This is x to the twelfth. Now, you could write it negative x to the twelfth, but that equals x to the twelfth. Okay? Number 11, negative 2xy squared cubed. Negative 2 cubed stays negative. x cubed y to the sixth. Remember, I have to raise each factor to a power of 3. So this is the final answer. Okay, number 12, 2, 3x squared y squared cubed. So now the 2 I will save for last times 3 cubed x to the 6th y to the 6th. 3 cubed, sorry, x to the 6th y to the 6th. So now I do now this is where some people get confused. Do you think I have to distribute the 2 to each term? And the answer is no, because when you multiply, you only distribute over the sum or a difference. So this is just saying do 2 times 3 cubed. 3 cubed is 27 times 2 is 54, x to the 6th, y to the 6th. You do not distribute with multiplication. You only distribute over a sum or a difference. Okay, now number 13, bit of a challenge problem. 3x squared squared times 1 third y squared. Squared. Okay, so first I have to do power of a product. So I have to raise, raise each factor to the second power. 3 squared x to the fourth one-third squared y to the fourth. This becomes 9x to the fourth times one-ninth y to the fourth. 9 times a ninth is 1, so my final answer is x to the fourth y to the fourth. Okay, number 14. 2a to the fourth b cubed times negative 2b squared squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of my power of powers. So this, has, this factor has to be raised to the third power, this factor, and this factor. So 2 cubed a to the twelfth b cubed this has to be power of a power. So this becomes negative 2 to the fourth. Now negative 2 to the fourth is going to become a positive number. 2 to the fourth is 16b to the fourth. So now 2 cubed is 8. So I have 8 times a to the twelfth b cubed. So now I'm going to multiply the 8 times the 16 the a is the only a, b cubed, b to the fourth. So 8 times 16 is 128, a to the twelfth, and this becomes b to the seventh. Okay, now for number 15, 4y squared plus 5y squared. Now, 
all of a sudden people learn new rules and they forget the old ones. Remember, if you're adding and you have the same variable raised to the same power, they are like terms. When you combine like terms, the rule says just combine your coefficients. So this is 9y squared. This is not 9y to the fourth. When you're adding, we're not multiplying, we're adding. When you add like terms, you just add the coefficients and keep the like terms the same. Now for number 16, x plus y squared. Okay, this is not the power of a product because this is a sum, not a product. There is no rule that says this becomes x squared plus y squared. That is wrong. This will never be x squared plus y squared. Okay, for right now, all you know is x plus y squared is x plus y times x plus y. We will learn how to do this in chapter 9. But for right now, you can just write x plus y times x plus y.